Hello again. Skyrim is a game that's open, open-ended. You can do what you want whenever you want, but the quests in it tend to be fairly, fairly short, you know, for the guild. So the guild gameplay isn't as good as it once was. However, the day-to-day -day gameplay is a lot better. You can be a hunter, fisherman, smithy, alchemist, whatever you want. There's lots and lots of support for it. Now, if you go focus on the game as a normal player, you enter it as a hunter and you roleplay a hunter and develop your skills from there or some other skill, then you're going to see Skyrim at its best. But if you go through the game looking for quests to do one after the other, then you're basically just following a load of pointers on the map. You will never see Skyrim at its best that way and you'll never see half the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on um, various ways of playing the game out outside of the quests and the first time we first one we're going to do is the hunter gameplay now i've got a house in markarth and in markarth there's uh there's the facilities there for people that do hunting game types like well gameplay like i am doing in this one including um a stove for cooking stew and stuff in and things like that so we've got everything we need in there but you only get that at level 20 so when you first start you want to be looking for some abandoned huts with the things you need in it and then just use that as your base of operations so you can afford a house so without further ado we're going to get into it right now i started out with mark have earlier but it's taken me i've got that far recording and had to delete things because people kept interrupting me so i'm starting again at that point but you'd be surprised how far across skyrim you can get by being a hunter without realizing you've explored that amount of space or that amount of area so we're going to start hunting now now if you can hunt you want to be sneaking. Sneaking that means you want good bow skills. Alright. Uh, where are we? Good archery skills there. And good sneak skills. The sneak skills you really need the first option, right? But with bows, the first option you add a few points to that. Get critical shot up quite a bit as well. Right? Um the rest of them you could probably take or leave. I would recommend uh, I would recommend getting a few points on sneak because sneaking is very important. You'll be able to sneak up on the on the target before they run away. Helps a lot. Now, as you're running around, you'll obviously come across locations they can do in here. There, you see. Now that's all part of uh, the gameplay. Obviously, if you see something you want to do, you do it. Now, I've already done the Markov quest, so I'm using I'm wearing the. Uh, the armour of the old gods here, which just happens to be perfect for a hunter. If I just uh, put the weapon away, I can swing around and show you. Apparently this is very popular for men. I don't know why, can you? <laughs> anyway, it's um, perfect for this, but we, oh, we've got a target in front of us already, look, right? Now we're going to just try and take that out from a distance. Now the only problem with bows is... It's a little bit like having a rifle. Wherever you point, you hit, even at low levels. So it's not really much of a threat. Now this is a fox. What we got on a fox? Fox pelt. Fox pelts can be skinned for leather and made into weapons. So that's one thing there. Now here's a pond, and it's got somebody dead in it already. I didn't know better. There we go. If he stops running, we can get him. It's very hard to aim on the move. There's another one. Got him. Now, the, these things here give you venison and also leather. Cause more damage when you're sneaking. Also, I've got other points added to the bow, well, to my archery skill, which means my bow causes more damage. I'll just show you the bow, actually. I've got two bows here. I've got one for combat when my life's in danger. That's a Juma one with um, enchantments on it, which needs uh, sorting out. And I've got a Falma bow here. Now, they both cause about 25 points of damage. Although, to be honest, I think some of them points are added because of perks I've taken. So, if you get one and you don't get exactly what I've got then don't be surprised this is something I don't like you see this guy here, I creep up to him I don't know if he's an enemy or a friend until he attacks me 
No offense, but you're not looking so good. Are you feeling ill? He's not an enemy, so I'm going to leave him. I'm not going to talk to anybody I don't want to talk to in case I start a quest I don't want to start. Now these boxes here, there is another one there that supply us with pelts and stuff. But we don't really uh, want this guy. Let's fire it in the ground so I can get the arrow back. Probably in the wrong area actually to go hunting in. <coughs> but hunting involves covering a large area quickly when you see your game you start sneaking. I'm going to show you fishing as well in this video. If I can find something deep enough to fish in. Hopefully this is. These fast moving rivers are harder to fish in than the, the larger streams. As I'll show you. You get swept downstream with them a lot. Well, this one I have because I'm stood up. I always go to solitude docks. <coughs> we'll go we're fishing from there. <coughs> we're going to have to hunt a lot more to get, you know, what we need to demonstrate some stuff. But you'll see what I mean in a minute. My imagination that took forever. God might get nervous. A woman approaches me. Right, we don't need the bow for this. Jump in the water. By the way, there is slot fish in this area, so you've got to be careful. We're looking for little white dots in the distance. There's one. Just do that pressy. When you catch it, oh, salmon. Don't forget to come up for her. We've just gone salmon. If we do this for long enough, we'll get loads and loads of salmon. And the more north we get, the more closer to the slaughter fish we get. There's one. Just come here. Okay. Now, this is how you uh, fish. Then you go swimming in the water. You can cook this. If you do um, try cooking, you need salt, potatoes, veg and everything else. So let's just take a trip down to some of the farms. Now I know there's some farms around here, so we're going to go down to here. But I've already cleared... No, not them ones. I've already cleared some of these ones, so... This may take a bit of time to find ones that haven't been cleared. Uh, hang on, there's one. Go to that one enemies in there so the only problem with this area is you do get a lot of uh, mud crabs stopping you from jumping around that's better right now we're going to go to a farm the best farms are all around uh, white run now some rules about um, getting stuff from farms is don't shoot the livestock they're usually owned by something and they usually trigger you know some crime so you end up with a bounty and you get attacked however the vegetables and stuff they're free you can pick them up if you want and that's what we're gonna do if this has any veg yes it has right now use these for stews and stuff you won't necessarily gain experience from cooking, at least I've never seen it happen yet. You get your experience from alchemy, from smithing and stuff like that. You don't get experience from um, leather either, I don't think, you know, producing the leather, but the leather's needed for the smithing. So you do experience for that. So I think the end result is what you got the uh, experience for rather than what you do in between. I see I already collected all this lot, this is wheat. So now, we've got some vegetables here. A lot of the animals in this area were already hunted by me early on, so it's not going to be much here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go north, we're going to get some seal. We're going to go to the Dark Star, well, Dawn Star Sanctuary. We're going to go along the beach here and see if we can find some of those... Um, is it, I can't remember the hawkers, I think they call them. They give them off meat. If you go hunting for... Um, mammoth you might find 
you know you run into a bit of a problem because they're difficult to kill so take poison with you take a good enchanted bow with you and some good arrows now not typical I don't see any okay we'll just go along the coast until we find some ah there's some right, see there in the distance though now these also give meat scratching him. Doesn't look like it, does it? I'm getting a bit closer. I don't want to be wasting all my arrows on something, but it's not doing any good. There we go. I was wondering if they went in the water or not. Parker, oh, that's it. There we go. I'll sell some Parker tusks and some arrows. The meat there is just for food, but the tusks, they've got a value all of their own. I'm not too sure what they're used for yet though, to be honest. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. There we go. It's up on the hill there, look. Got it. Elk. Got an elk. I'm going to sneak in case the other one's about still. So we've got deer hide and venison from that. Where's the other one? The other one's gone. Gotta be careful when you're doing this, you know, because you can get attacked by dragons. <laughs> But it does raise your skill up, your sneak skill up quite quickly. And your archery skill too. Oh yeah, also when you're going on collect and harvest any of these stuff you found for your alchemy, if you're going to do the alchemy, because hunting covers quite a broad base of the game's uh, stuff from um, cooking, smithing, alchemy. You can do it all as a hunter. There we go. Right there. Shot. You deer hide antlers. Actually, if we go to here and look at um, the ingredients, antlers there, look. It's, it's an alchemy ingredient now, so. Damn, missed it. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. You can't really chase them full blown because they'll just keep running. You've got to sneak up to them even when they're running away. So it's calmed down now, look, you see. Oh no, it's not, he's run again. His mate's run off. Sometimes they do that because there's a wolf in the area, so if you see that happening, right, look around. Do you see these here? Watch. So we can pick these as well. These are alchemy ingredients you can pick insects. Just get stand still. Yeah. See? All these insects as well. All useful. Okay, now I'm gonna take you to um White Run. 
right? And I'm going to show you how to deal with the lever. Now we just hunted the we just hunted the deer and we got some skins off of them. You also get skins off bears, you get skins off foxes and wolves and a few other things. So all of this can be used and you can sell leather as well for a profit. So you're not gonna you're not gonna lose out on money here if you do this. But you won't necessarily gain any skills from doing this. Good, it's night time so she's not using it. So we'll go here to this leather thing here. Right, and we'll start using the tanning rack. And we'll click on miscellaneous, click on leather, it says at the bottom fox pelt one. We we'll turn that into leather. Next one is deer hide three, so we do that three times. And one more time. This one here is deer hide three. Must be a different type of deer or something, I don't know. And this one here is bear pelt four or one. Now we've got 17 uh, strips of leather, or 17 leather, so we're going to make some leather strips. We're not going to use all the leather for strips because, to be honest, if we did, we'd end up uh, losing money. But you notice the value here for the leather strips is 3, where the leather there for there is the leather is 10. So each one of them leather is worth 10, but you make 4 strips out of each leather at value of 3, that's 12. So by turning them into strips, you actually make uh, 2 gold profit. Anyway, if you're going to smith, you need more than just leather. But since we're not smithing today, right, then um, we don't. Now, we're going to go back now and... Um, no, we're not. We're going to wait here until dawn. And then we go and visit the local alchemist and buy some ingredients from her because we're going to make some food. These are the kind of things I don't mention in reviews and you don't see mentioned anywhere else but the game supports. This is the sort of thing that um, previous test games haven't supported very well which Skyrim supports in a very big way. Which is why it's important to show it off. I'm sure there we go. How do you feel? Ah, so you're an alchemist then? Now here, she's selling ingredients. We need salts, all right? The uh, salt pile, that's what we need. We could buy some more stuff, I suppose. There's food there as well. But I'm not going to, most of these are alchemy ingredients. Come back anytime right. if you need a remedy. Now we're gonna go to the house I've got in Markaf now. And we're going to use what we've hunted. There we go. By the way, this this character of mine, the savage looking one, started out as a mage and he's now archmage as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, the mage's game without any mods is about three hours long. After that, your mage becomes absolutely obsolete. So. I had to change profession, you might say. You right, the house should be just up these steps. You, you aren't with the Forsworn, are you? People say they saw you from the prisoners' estate. So many dead. There we go. This is the house. This is the one you can own in Marka, but you've got to be level 20. So you're probably better found in this shack somewhere in the wilderness until you actually get to level 20. It's a shame really because you need a house to do this because you need to put so you put your ingredients somewhere because you can't just carry that amount of weight around with you. Now we're gonna go just down here. There's the missus there. You get her, you know, she opens up to you when you actually do a Dark Brotherhood quest for her. Now uh, I think it's this one. We'll take all. We'll see what we can make in this stew pot, shall we? Click on food. Oh, we can make potato soup. Adds 10 points of stamina, so we'll do that. What else can we make? We can make a leg roast, we do that. And we can't do any more because they all need salt pile, you see. Notice the ingredients. Salt pile, salt pile, salt pile, salt pile, salt pile. Well, in that case, it's garlic and tomato. But nearly everything requires salt or something special. So you've got to keep an eye out for that ingredient when you're doing anything. You know, that there is your basic, um, 
basic hunter food leather thing. And we're going to do we're going to do a bit of alchemy if I've got the right stuff for it. After we put this away, because we don't really need all this. See, I've actually covered quite a few ingredients here already. What's missing is salt. It's the hardest thing to find, to be honest. Now, we're going to go to the alchemy section. Is it this one or is it that one? Oh, it's in here, isn't it? I can't remember where I put them now. Well, there's the alchemy. There we go. Now we're going to take all. Now we've got some ingredients here as well, so we'll see if we can make anything new here. Damage, health, restore stamina. Now we want that. It's got antlers look. We're going to use one of each, see what we come up with. Yeah, we did something, right. Uh, we do a damage health one as well. We're going to use Death Bell and Falmer ears. Do another one. There we go. Now, the alchemy thing, unlike the um, rest of the bits I've showed you, do give you experience. So whilst you're running around collecting food, you're also collecting alchemy ingredients as well, which is where you're going to get experience. Now, because the game doesn't actually um, award experience to what you've been doing anymore, well it does, but it doesn't count towards your perks, it doesn't matter what you learn the experience on, because you'll get perks here just the same. Only, obviously, if you do the job, this skill here, like the four cheat I've got for sneak, will go up. That goes up from actually doing the job. Anyhow, that's the uh, that's the basic hunter game for you, in a nutshell. There's plenty to do in it, you know, and it's part of the day-to-day, -day, you know, gameplay that the game Thank does support pretty well. All you've got to do is take advantage of it, and when you get bored of that, you go and do a quest, and that way you get managed to get the best out of the um, game itself. By the way, that's one of the new mannequins in the game. That's the Legion armor I had. And here's the weapon rack. Well, not weapon rack, there's one weapon rack and there's another. The best one, by the way, if you want weapon racks, is actually in, um, it's in what you call it, um, Windhelm. That's the best one for warriors. Anyway, we're going to leave it there, and I'll chat to you later.